No Japanese info by Japanese people. Then count, count on me. me. Hey there, it's Naoto. If you visit Japanese castles, there are several things you should know beforehand. Otherwise, your stay would be less enjoyable. To me, Japanese castles are not just a historical heritage, but also the place for admiring the work of the samurais. But sadly, even we Japanese people tend to be unaware of how fascinating Japanese castles are. So today on the Japan list, I'd like to tell you three points for helping you to enjoy Japanese castles more and more. The first point is this, don't forget to see the entire territory. Apparently, ordinary people think that the main building, which is called Tenshu, is the only place to see, but that's not true. Indeed, Tenshu is absolutely beautiful, but it's not just the only one. You definitely regard castle not just as a building, but as a fortified territory filled with tactics. If you are willing to enjoy castles as much as possible, then the map of castle helps you a lot. Sometimes it's quite hard to get a map, but if you could, the map of the castle absolutely, absolutely helps you a lot. By reading a map, you can glass the entire image of the castle. Like what is here, what is intended. In this way, you can see castle not just as a building, but as the territory. For instance, there are front and back side of the castle. The front side is called Ote, and it is considered that the enemy is likely to invade castles from Ote. That's why the strategic facilities on Ote is quite robust. On the other hand, the back side is called Karamete. I would say the defense at Karamete tends to be simple. Inuyama Castle, which is known as one of the national treasure in Japan, is quite a good example. Inuyama Castle is geographically surrounded by Kiso River, and the Karamete of the Inuyama Castle utilizes river and steep slope. Now, let's get back to the topic, map of the castle. I'd like to add one more advantage. When visiting castles, you have to take it into account that the castles are not always with buildings. You know, most of the castles were constructed in samurai period, and some of them were already attacked and devastated meanwhile. The map of the castle helps you even in such situation as well. Is there no building? No problem. However, in the case you couldn't get a map, it's no problem. You don't have to care about it. The map of the castle is just a tool to help your imagination. When walking around inside the castle's territories, two perspectives are absolutely helpful. The perspective of attacker and defender. When you walk in the territory, let's suppose that you are an attacker and you are trying to invade this castle and trying to kill the lord of the castle. Soon you would notice how difficult it is to invade castles without being killed by someone. The Japanese castles are literally fortified castles, whereas European castles tend to be uh, built by nobles and not intended for fighting. In this sense, the Japanese castles would be more enjoyable with figuring out the tactics and strategic intentions. With the viewpoint of the attacker, you would also wonder how you can overcome the defense. Again, your imagination will be important. But as I said, it's just one of the perspective. One more still remains, that is defender. I would recommend you to switch your perspective on each way. I mean, if you are advancing, you are an attacker. Unless if you are on the way back, you are a defender. By the perspective of a defender, you can also think how you can empower the stable defense and how you can defend your castle. There are many many strategic facilities in the Japanese castles. This is the third point you should know. There are a lot of things like Ishigaki, uh, Sama, Ishiotoshi. If I pick up all of these, it would take forever. Today, I'd like to pick up the popular ones. Sama Ishiotoshi Masugata Koguchi. The first one, Sama, is a window or loophole to fire a gun or launch an arrow. You can shoot an arrow and defend yourself at the same time. There are some types of Sama, and that's also interesting. And the second one, this is Ishi Otoshi. Ishi Otoshi is a window from which you drop stones in order to attack enemies. Imagine, when you are trying to climb up Ishigaki, then stones 
fall from above you. That's quite unavoidable. You would be damaged a lot. And the third one is called Masugata Koguchi. It's about a combination of two gates, which makes a squared area like this. Behind it, there is an intention to induce the invaders to come in the narrow squared area and subsequently come across in front of the defending force. Invaders have to turn left or right after entering the first gate, and it is impossible to avoid the interception. This system is absolutely effective, and you can see it at many many castles. So, that's all for today. For more, I'd like to hand over to other episodes, but I hope your point of view was changed by this video to some extent. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe. Arigatou gozaimashita.